What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we are going to be going over some games to get to Master. And I am going to be playing the trusty old Hunter because it is just the tried and true method of being able to actually make this thing work. So we are going to go on with the cart in the beginning, our team sticking together, and I am going to try to save my heal for as much as possible. We have some good shields and a neon, so there's really no reason to pop it until I really have to. And I really want to save it just in case my teammates get switched on it's really nice to have that hunter hill in your back pocket and i try to hold on to it when i can there's nothing worse than popping it a little too early in the wrong spot and then you end up needing it later like right here we have it and it is just a really good time to do it you can make sure that you've got enough time for that neon to get to you which he teleports through the wall straight to me and he gets me straight up Right here, all I'm trying to do is just trying to get everyone to slow down on their side and make sure that we have a free cart to the middle, and that's exactly what we're able to do. We get the Aletta, and our team's just absolutely dominating. Our Gloria is able to take out that Osis with absolutely no problem, and you cannot ask for a better team than we got on this game. And honestly... I would like to give a shout out to these guys because you can't ask for anything better than this, especially with the Neon just going hard, healing everybody like it's nothing, and I don't even have to use my heal half the time because of it. It's just great. But we are in a really rough spot right there. I do go ahead and use my heal. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo and I just didn't notice, and we are having a little trouble with there being a shield there in front of the Gatlin. So right here, what I want to do is I want to go try to help my um, like shell kind of forward uh, get people out of the way and make sure that no one's going to be coming down that route and if anybody's trying to kill my shell from up top on that bridge I wanted to go out there and help them but it turned out that we just couldn't get anyone going that way and it was a lot better to just turn back and it ended up being really nice because even though the shell died our teammates were able to clutch up and keep everything together from the back end so we were able to get back in there and get back to them. I'm going to go ahead and use my heals now just so my neon doesn't have to worry about me and it'll be up when everybody respawns and we have the full fight. Again, it sometimes sucks to use it a bit too early because right now I don't have it and it ended up killing me. So you do have to be careful with that. Sometimes you're not going to time it right and it's just better to keep in your back pocket. But that will also lead to you having it in your back pocket the whole time, which is a problem I do struggle with. And I am trying to get better at learning when to use my heal. And you can always get better at the game. No matter how good you are, no matter how easy things feel, there's always little things you can do to make yourself and your team better and that's really where I'm at right now is making all the things I do for my team to make them do better because it doesn't necessarily matter if you can go 25 kills zero deaths if your team can't do anything and you aren't able to help them it's much better to just go like 15 to no and have like 20 assists and have your team just run through everybody honestly you won't need to get 25 kills to win the game if you're helping your team and that's one thing that I found out is you can really just be a superstar player that really does a lot of cool things but it doesn't actually help you win the game quickly or even at all sometimes you'll just get a ton of kills and lose which really sucks and it just feels bad but it's your fault because you could have been a better team player and done a lot more to help your team out that you didn't do because you wanted to get those kills and you wanted to live. And so that's something that I'm trying to get better at and you might find yourself doing without realizing it because for a long time, I didn't realize that's what I was doing. And so uh, it really like consciously thinking about how can I be a better teammate is something that's helped me win a lot more of my solo games especially because they're not always going to work with you so if you take the initiative to work with them you're having that teamwork either way so it just really really ends up helping you win these games because no matter how good you are keeping your team alive and having more bodies out there is always going to be better than you just being a superstar I promise you that and so that's exactly what we're trying to do and right here we are going to get back because they were hitting us and my teammates absolutely light the guy up that tried to get me and we are just in such a good spot right here i'm going to go ahead and try to get this guy that's wall peeking i realize it's a problem we just aren't going to get him we need to go ahead and focus that jabali which we do and our teammates do an amazing job as well and then we immediately end up getting that osis our ruby is playing the perfect shields i mean you really cannot ask for 
for a better team than I, what I got here. I mean, these guys were just absolute legends. You gotta love it. And we are able to go ahead and get some good damage in on this Ruby, and my teammate on my Ruby is doing an amazing job to outplay him as well. He ended up getting the kill, making everything work out. I do get shot in the back, it is what it is, but we do get the kill, which is all that really matters, and we didn't give any cart time. Right here, I'm just looking for them to go in and try to get the um, heal, and that's what we stop right there with our ult, and then we are able to help take down the Jabali, immediately getting some shots on the Osus, and man, our Gloria clutches up, just killing everybody on their team. He already got the first three, and now that there's the last guy, he gets him low, and I'm able to get that kill. Right there, the Neon immediately gets me back up. I mean, as I said, you cannot ask for a better team as a solo player than these guys. They are just doing everything you could ever ask for. Right here, I'm able to get healed back up by that Neon, and the Gloria stops on me and goes for the Neon, which is why I go back. I want to make sure that the Neon stays alive, and then I'm able to pinch from behind and end up getting the Scotty, and it is just an easy mode game from here, and there's just really nothing they can do. No matter what they really do here, they are absolutely screwed. We have great shields, great heals, and I'm able to shoot them from one side while we have a rock star glorious shooting them from the other. I mean, this is just a tough position to be in on their side. Luckily for me, I got the good team. You know, like, you gotta love it. And we are able to go in here and help shoot this guy, getting him low, going ahead, getting the 6th Street, and now it's just one last guy. It's already going to be overtime. It's just simple. I realize that my team's kind of dead and, like, the other ones are spawning, so my best thing to do right here is just wait and let these guys pass by, start shooting them in the back, just get some damage on them. The Osus does a great job to end up getting me. But it allowed my team to get in there. We had already killed another one, and they just had nothing left. We do end up getting the win. Going 14 and 2 with 9 assists, and then 9 and 1 with 7 assists. That healer was amazing. And also, Sticky Rice, amazing job he did on the Ruby. Again, shout out to those guys. That, that was just perfect. And right here was actually late in the game. We got absolutely ran through. As you can see, they hit the med checkpoint with like four and a half minutes. I mean, I don't know if any of us got a kill to this point. Which is not exactly an ideal situation, but you know, it does end up happening sometimes, especially playing solo, like your team's going to not want to play tank, your team's going to not want to have a healer, and it just sometimes really sucks, but it is what it is. And then if you get ran through for the first half, then somebody will switch tank, somebody will switch healer, and kind of things will start getting together, and it really does just change the whole game once that happens. Right here, we are just doing our best to keep ourselves alive, so our chemist doesn't really have to worry about too much right there we realize that with that uh bubble just staying out there is going to get us killed but we can go in and start getting some damage in on this guy and i do want to make sure that i don't necessarily let that guy go because if he heals back up the gatlin up there can do so much damage to us it's really good to get him gone and that way no one on our team's having to focus on him either our chemist is actually doing an amazing job to get in some big heals from long range and he is just absolutely balling out with these heals on that Jabali. Jabali's doing a great job to shield when he is and then do some damage when he needs to. And right here I am just trying to get out of the line of sight of that Gatlin while also breaking that fade bubble so my teammates won't get killed from that right side. Right here I am on absolutely no health and I am just trying to get out because I know my team can't really help me too much. I do end up getting my cooldown back to heal, immediately turning around to go ahead and kill that mark. Right here we are in a great spot to help our team because they can't really get me from anywhere except maybe above but that's a really hard ask so anyone who's going to come to me is probably going to come in front of me and if they do end up trying to go around I'm going to see them shoot my teammates and be able to go help them right there I do drop my heal immediately killing the hunter and turning knowing that Mark's going to come the same way he's came multiple times turn in my teammates already got him low for me he's an instant kill you cannot ask for better or anything than this it is all going perfect and according to plan and that's really all you can ask for in this game especially as a solo is to have that guy go tank have your healer even if he's on chemist go and do his work man and then i'm getting all the support i need from dps i mean uh, you can't ask for better games when you only need two for master to go ahead and get these 
these two teams. I mean, it's just perfect. So we are going to go ahead and take advantage of that and do our best to get the lob down, but I don't want to overextend here because I am in a very vulnerable spot. I've killed so many people from here that I'm in a lot of trouble because they all know where I'm at. My teammates have already died, so I need them to respawn. So right here, I am mostly just trying to wait for my team to get here we do get the chemist down and it allows me to go ahead and get back to full but i still don't want to overextend here i do want to make sure i'm using all the natural cover i can and then switch situations that way i can get into a better line of sight especially after the cart moved past no one's going to be coming from that way and more people will come on top of me and it's just a much better spot to be in and it did allow us to end up getting the kills and i knew my teammates had the guy on the cart so i just focused on the guys that are coming in that way my teammates don't get pinched and I'm just waiting for these guys and then it's a fade that's rough but we are going to back up as soon as we see that because even if we didn't charge it in we do have the fade balls coming down a narrow hallway it's all rough we do end up getting the 14 streak and on this the hunter had me so much but I had amazing chemist heals there and I stole the heal from him allowing me to end up going around and trying to get somebody from the back and right here here, I'm just trying not to get pinched from multiple directions or angled up on that head glitch on the right because I see those guys up there and he was basically just trying to keep his KD going sky high so he wasn't really wanting to help his team too much. If you want to sit on that head glitch, fine, I'll just stay out of your way. I mean, sometimes I'll accidentally go in your way, but it's fine. I mean, you're going to make your team lose, so go ahead and sit up there, gal, and I'm happy for it. And we are able to get the hunter and then right here, we just try to get back and away from where that head glitch which can see us because that Gatlin's basically not playing at this point and we do end up getting that guy and now at the very end on the 17th streak our teammates are all here the Gatlin finally comes down but it's too little too late he pops a bubble instead of trying to go in for the uh go in for the contest because he cares more about his KD than he cares about winning. I don't like those kind of people. Very glad he's on their team. But right here, we do straight out of the gate end up getting the guy on the left. And I like to usually go for the guy on the left with the hunter because it ends up getting one of the guys that'll flink your team a lot of the time out of the way. And then you can actually have a really good angle to help your guys pushing on the right. So I normally do go left as hunter because it lets me kill somebody and then I can end up helping flank basically from that left side on anyone that's up top trying to kill my guys going up the ramp right here I just get absolutely outplayed and destroyed by the shell like there's just no excuse for missing that many shots like it's rough but we do end up going forward and we have the Jabali low our team's just absolutely killing them and the chemist ends up getting the kill while trying to heal our team you gotta love it and we are just gonna push forward I end up backing up because I really they're going to come from the left side as well and I can end up helping get them and it just makes basically helps our whole team by having no one come around that left side and basically heading them off and then I can always push up into them and heal like I did there and then start to back up because I do want to make sure my tank has all the support and if my chemist needs to stay back and do their thing I want to give them all the opportunity to do that again throwing my heal down for the chemist because chemist is super susceptible to dying to stuff and right here me and the judex go chase I'm going to go ahead and go back around just to make sure that we're good and it ended up working out great and now we just need a couple more feet and all we got to do is get the guy out of the window so I'm going to go to this side and immediately start going for the window we get him and then we can start flanking around and getting everyone else for our team which works super easy and fast and then the last guy alive the shell all one shot nothing they can really do and right here I'm just going to wait for my team to spawn there's no reason to push it we have all the time in the world and we only have a very small amount to go so it's just better to go ahead let my teammates get back up keep this positioning and make sure that I put everybody on their team on notice hey I'm here you can't come here and it ends up slowing them down enough for my whole team to spawn and we are in the exact position we want to be in so right here my tank doing a great job to go ahead block some damage because they are coming from the left I do see it's a Johnny Jet and I am going to end up getting him with my ult if you can't see the JJ and your uh, sonar ball doesn't get him he's probably on the cart and your uh, charge shot will end up getting him 99% of the time if you just aim it in the middle of where you think the uh, health pull is 
And right here, we are just pushing up, doing so much damage. My teammates are the perfect team. You are getting all the heals and support you could possibly want. And right here, this guy ends up dying. And oh my god, I got so lucky. Great job by the chemist. In every way, we just got really lucky. But right here, we are going to end up winning the game because of the good team. And that was our games to get to master. And I will make a video next time on the placement matches. Rough. But yeah, we had 90,000 heals. I mean, can't ask for more than that. Just absolutely amazing. Gotta love Hunter and Solo, man. Alright, thanks for watching, and have a great day.